Janus Korsak was born on July 22, 1878, to a Jewish family in Warsaw, Poland. He, as a Jew and a Pole, believed that he only had two nationalities. At birth, he was given the name Henrik Goldschmidt, but changed it to Janus Korsak, a pseudonym derived from the 19th century novel Janus Korsak and the Pretty Swarp Sleeper Lady. As a child, he was raised in a poor neighborhood, and as a result, he developed a passion for working with the disadvantaged and underprivileged youth. He took after his grandfather, a physician, and his father, a prolific writer, and procured talents in both subjects, though he soon gave up both promising careers when he received a grant in 1912 to create a Jewish orphanage on Krokmalna 92 in Warsaw. He indirectly resisted against the Nazis and the elimination of the Jews during the Holocaust using nonviolent methods. In 1912, as we mentioned earlier, he established and served as the principal of an orphanage for Jewish children, Dom Sarot. He designed this tentative home to improve his educational theories, which he developed during his many years serving as a physician in the Russo-Japanese War as well as World War I. Jewish children between the ages of 7 and 14 were able to live there while attending Polish public schools or government-funded Sabbath schools. Additionally, he served as the principal of Nas Dom, another Jewish orphanage. Furthermore, he formally educated the children using his method of institutional education and living by his motto, if you want to reform the world, first you must reform education. When the Germans occupied Poland, they forced many orphanages, including his, to transfer to the ghettos. After the German invasion, Janusz Korsak took many risks for the well-being of his orphanages. When the orphanage was moved to the ghetto, he received many invitations to be smuggled out. However, although he knew that he was putting his life at stake, he denied the offers because he did not want to leave the children behind. As a result of the many risks he took for the orphanages, on August 5, 1942, he, along with 200 orphanage children and staff, were deported to Treblinka, a Nazi extermination camp in operation during World War II. After he was sent to Treblinka, he, along with the 200 others, were sorrowfully put to death. Janusz Korzak, A Life of Resistance.